I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. My name is Yuri Okota. I am 96 years old. I owned the property in San Leandro for 55 years. Right after the war ended, when my husband and I were on the farm in Idaho, I got a call from my sister saying there was a nursery for sale at the corner of First Avenue, now Marina Boulevard, and Washington Avenue, next door to her nursery in San Leandro. I liked the idea of living next door to her, so we sent her husband the money without seeing the place. I think it was around in the mid-1946. When we got there, we found the place in very poor shape. There were two greenhouses with broken glass all over the property, and a tank house was with living quarters under it where we lived for five years before building our home on the property. There also was another house which we let a helper and his family live. That was the beginning. There was a boiler house and a well. That was the beginning of M. Yokota Nursery Incorporated. My parents who had their nursery in Richmond since 1915 gave us a lot of advice on growing. We started with snapdragons, sweet peas, and carnations. Later we finally branched into roses. My husband grew roses free of disease that was hard to do if you didn't have diligence. Needless to say, our roses were very much in demand. We had over 38 varieties. In the early 1960s, a paint factory located close by had an explosion. A house close by was affected by it and was damaged. We had more than 10,000 panes of glass blown away from our greenhouses. A newspaper reporter was on this railroad next to our property and saw our greenhouses with so much glass blown away. He completely ignored us and went on to the damaged house instead, of, instead and wrote about it in the Chronicle. We felt the sting of prejudice. All our Japanese nursery friends came and helped us to repair the damage. Although there was work to do every day, we managed to join a group called Roses Inc. with whom we traveled to the other parts of the country and world, learning and sharing ideas on varieties and growing. In 1986, our daughter Agnes quit her medtech work at UC Berkeley to join us and eventually take over the business. In 1990, imports of huge headed roses started coming into the United States from Colombia and Ecuador. Their head size was double R's and impressive looking. Their workers were paid a dollar a day. The flowers were grown outdoors on the hilltops. No greenhouse, no heat required. We could not compete. We tried desperately to stay in business. Flower wholesalers who we relied on for selling our flowers were going out of business as well. We bunched our roses into dozens and sold them at the farmer's market in Berkeley. In 1998, my husband passed away. We were struggling from global imports in around 2000. The city of San Leandro threatened us and, and about 10 other businesses on the, in the area with eminent domain. That was very traumatic. Not only was business difficult, but there was a city after our property. Okay. My son-in-law, Larry Kumabe, a lawyer from Hawaii who had experience with eminent domain, came to help us with the fight. We were able to fight back with the help of San Leandro Committee for Responsible Redevelopment, headed by Bob Batnich, other businesses including San Francisco Hat Company in San Leandro, headed by Stefan Schindiger and Sally Kellerman, and our concerned councilman member, Glenda Nardine. At one of the many meetings, I said that I wondered if I was going to lose my property again just like during the evacuation. The enthusiasm of the crowd in the room was overwhelming. The city called the eminent domain off. We finally sold our property to the city. Volvo 
auto dealer is now on our former property.